G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now a fun new project today. Something that you can actually use, something practical that we can do with resin. Now, do you remember when I did this, the chiffon effect, and I did it with a, a paper towel holder? It's so cool, isn't it? You can pop your paper towel on there. Let me get a piece. Let me get a roll. Now, there's different sizes of paper towels. This one is just a, a like a narrow one. It's not too thick. Some of them come out a bit wider as well. Depends on the size that you get. So anyway, we're going to make another paper towel holder. I got through a lot of paper towel. <laughs> now, I just bought these. I bought, I think I've got three, three of them. Um, just the plain metal ones. I just got them on eBay, but I'm sure you could probably get some from your dollar store or cheapy shop somewhere. Don't need to spend a lot of money and then we can dress them up a little bit so this is my 20 centimeter silicon tray mold i will link it down in the description if you want it um, it's a good size i i think it's a good size because um, like when you put your paper towel onto whatever it is you want to actually see a little bit <laughs> of your design on it you don't want to cover the whole thing do you well i don't you want to be able to see it especially if some rolls are bigger so anyway i got this one um now i'm going to i'll have to work out exactly where i want to place it but what i'm going to do first is i'm going to pop a bit of resin down so what i've decided for this one is like a, a beach scene an ocean scene so i'm going to pop some resin down first I remember doing this one time <laughs> and um, I put my sand down first and then I poured resin over the top and just assumed, silly, silly me, that um, the resin would kind of seep through and get down under the sand like, like water does, but it didn't. So when I unmolded, I had all this loose dry sand on the bottom that just kind of fell away. So resin first. Or if you wanted to, you could put your sand in there and then mix it. But look, I think that's just going to be quite difficult. I don't know. Maybe I can. Maybe I can put some in here. I just don't want to have a lot of dry sand remaining. So maybe I will do that, hey? I need a big cup for this. Or, or like a, a round takeaway plastic container. Maybe something a bit shallower that you can pop all your sand in. Anyway, I'm doing this first, and then I'm going to put my paper towel stand in there. I'm going to make sure that it's nice and centered, hey? Now, don't worry too much about bubbles because we're going to put sand in there. Give it a little bit of a tap. I guess I could have sprayed some alcohol. I forgot. <laughs> um, you know, around the edges. Um, but if you're if you're concerned, you can just get your little silicone brush and just go around the edges like that it's a very thin little bit of resin in there and I'm using the platinum 360 plus because I'm very impatient and this sets up really quickly you know I can unmold in six to eight hours depending on depending on what the weather's doing all right so let's move oh no we do need to pop that in so I'm just gonna put it there for now and then I'm going to get my little ruler once you've, once you've put your piece in the mould, get a, a little pop stick or something and put it across the top like that. And have a look underneath to make sure that you've actually got some clearance under there. There's no point having a mould that's too um, shallow um, and then you can't fit anything in. So I've probably got about, I can't show, I can't show you about five millimetres, about a quarter of an inch or so I've got um, above this above this metal thing we shouldn't have run that stick around there but. okay so let's just make sure that this is going to be even so that's three centimeters to that side three centimeters look I'm sure it's, oh gosh now we've only got two and a half three and a half okay so we're going to go that way a little bit so, I mean, you probably don't need to be exact, exact, but try and get it as close as you can. 
you know, all the way around. It'll just look nicer if you have it more symmetrical. So just take a little bit of time, measure it out, make sure that you're equal. Okay, that's good. Oh, good. So don't move it again. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so you could either, I'm not sure exactly which is the best way to do this because I, like I haven't really done it before. So I guess you could put your sand in, but um, the resin's pulling away from the edges. I just need to make sure that I've got the resin right up to the sides. But I will, I will put some sand in the resin. Now, you really don't need a lot of resin. Um, you when, you'll see when you put the sand in, it makes a really thick paste. So you actually don't need to have too, too much resin. I mixed up 100 grams of part A and um, 43 grams of part B. Gosh, look at the, oh, look at the big knot. Oh, my gosh. Ah. On, I'm going to take my gloves off and get this knot out. <laughs> That's better. Okay. Gosh, that's a lot of plastic on there. I'll just cut some of that off. I don't need all that. Gosh. All right. So let's just pour some of this sand. I think I just, I think I just got sand from um, Amazon. Really, a bag of craft sand. I'll just pour some in there. Let's see what that's going to do. So I just need to make a paste. Make sure that it's all wet. Crunch, crunch. Now because I've already got resin in there, I may need to add more sand if this is not going to be enough. It's like mixing a cookie dough batter. <laughs> Where's the chocolate chips? Let's add the chocolate chips to the cookie dough batter. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Oh, gosh. All right, so it's quite a thick paste there. I'm making a mess. Let me put my gloves back on now. And uh, we'll start dropping some of this sand mixture over the surface. Like so. We want to cover cover that little stand there. Like so. I wasn't exactly sure how much resin to make up because when you put the sand in it, it really displaces you know, the amount of resin that you've got. So I wasn't exactly sure how much to make. So we do need to leave enough for our, our top coat. Maybe this isn't enough. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. You guys learn along with me. I think I've got enough resin. I think I might just have to like add some more sand. To the um to the resin that's already in there because if you don't have enough like a higher enough ratio of sand um you know you're going to see your, your metal through there but i don't really want to make any more resin up because i don't want to fill this anymore because i need some room left for my top coat so I think what I should probably do now is just pour sand into this. And let the resin soak it up. Yeah, because if I make any more resin up, I'm not going to have any room for the top coat, am I? So there we go. All right. See, yeah, I'm not exactly sure which would be the best way to do it. Whether, you know, do the way that I've just done or, um, no, you can get in there. 
or just wet the sand, uh, wet the base and then pour your sand in. I don't, know, I don't know. Let's just pour some of this in now and see what happens. Just start with a little bit and then I can smooth it over. Yeah, so probably, I guess, in hindsight, it's probably a better idea to maybe not put the resin, a little bit of resin in first. Just mix up all your resin with your sand, which is what I was going to do. And then at the last minute, it changed my mind. Okay, so I'm just going to poke all this in and wet it and make sure it's all level and uh, then I'll come with I'll come back to you all right because <laughs> it's gonna take me a few minutes okay so that's my layer of sand now because I've had to cover the the metal I've had to go a couple of millimeters over the top of that metal stand with my sand so that hasn't left me a lot of room to play with probably got another two millimeters there but what I want to do is, and, and look, I don't have many shell things that are small, so I've just got out what I've got here. And I'm basically, while the sand's wet, I'm going to just basically, you know, poke things in. Like so. Just poke a few little things in. Little shells, I've got some starfish haven't got a lot of things and like I don't want to make sand and then light water dark water and that I just want to do just like a little little ocean pool type thing so basically I need to oops there's a bit of metal there go on the side of the metal so yeah just if you're doing this in this particular tray um, it's a centimeter thick or deep um, I mean you could use thicker or deeper molds um, I didn't want it to be too, too chunky. So just going to do that. And then I'll put over, you know, I might do like a really pale aqua, really pale sort of aqua colour. So yeah, just basically <laughs> put things where you want them, okay? Put them where you want them. I'll tip out all my little my all my little bits and pieces that I've got and then I can have a little look through see what I want to use because there's some really interesting pieces like look at that it's so cool now the starfish that's the back of the starfish so we want the top even though the other side's a little bit more attractive I think <laughs> but never mind so just basically sticking them in the darker one. You've got a bit of time to, to play with. You know, your resin, it's not going to go off straight away. That's a bigger one. Oh, look at this. Oh, this. oh that's the same. I thought it was different. I was looking at it from there. <laughs> These are really big ones. Eh? I guess I could put a couple of really big ones in. They could go on the side. between that metal rod and the edge of the mold. They could go in there. So yeah, just basically have a little play. I'll put you on fast forward while I fiddle because it's gonna take me a while and I'm basically just gonna fill it up with shells and things and, and then I can put my clear resin over the top to seal everything in. <laughs> So it's been a day um, and 
I, I have decided that um, I'm going to do clear and then light and then dark. Just, just for a little bit of interest. So I've got some um, of my Platinum 360 Plus and a little bit of... Oh, this is Lares. Oh, gosh, I've got it all over me. It was a sample that um, Susanna Danks sent to me a while back. Um, it's it's like it looks like a blue, but it kind of goes a bit teal. Oh gosh, look at the mess I've made! All right, anyway, <laughs> let's just keep going. Uh, so, just a little bit of the blue in here, and I'm going to use the same blue, um, but just put in a little bit more into my other cup. I made up uh, 75 grams of A and 32 grams of B. I'm not exactly sure if I'll need it all, but I can make some puffy hearts if I don't. Let's put in two drops into the darker one. When I'm doing like an, an ocean scene, I like to use the same color, but just make it darker. That way, it, I think it just blends nicer. See how it goes more of a green, even though it's a blue? So I didn't really want a blue-blue for this one. I wanted more of a, a turquoise colour. So we'll do that. So we've got that, that, and the clear. I'm going to clean myself up a minute. Hang on. So we'll put a little bit of the clear down first. Now I just have to be careful because I haven't got a lot of room left. It's pretty full. Pretty full. And then a little bit of this one. Oh, that looks so pretty. Look at that. I'm going to get in here. I'm going to get in here, this little bit here. <laughs> I might not put too much of that dark one on. I might... Leave it like that. Oh, God. oh my gosh, I've spilt, I've spilt. Look, look at that. I've been trying to clean up my mess. Oh, no. I don't want a blob of blue ink in, in my shell. I'm trying to get that out. And then a little bit of this darker one. In there. I'll just do it slowly so that I can add little bits if I want to, you know, to make them lighter or darker. That's quite dark. I don't think I'll do any more of that. <laughs> I do want to get that out though. Um, let's see if I can use this. Spray some alcohol on there and try and get that out because that's supposed to be clear there. This little micro brush. I think it's coming out. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. All right, let's put a little bit more of that one on. A little bit more of this one on. I don't really want any more of that dark. Darker. All right, let's get a little stick and just start to spread these a little bit. Actually, I'm not liking this dark one very much. I think it's too dark. I think it's too dark. I might take some of it off. Actually, I prefer just the other two. Personally, I don't mind a little bit of it, but I'll just um, I'll dilute it a little bit. There we go. There we go. There's always a way, isn't there, to fix things? Just put a little bit more of the lighter over the top. So I've still got a little bit of the dark there. I'll kind of mix it in a little bit. But uh, yeah, I think the other one was just a bit too dark. I think one drop would have sufficed. Push it to the edges. Kind of blend that a little bit. You can still see that it is darker, but it's not as dark as before. Well, it was a bit much. It was a bit much. There we 
go. It's going to be careful with the edges. Don't want to overflow it. I haven't got very much room in my mould at all, but enough. Certainly there's enough for the top coat. A little bit more. Yeah, I, I, when I was thinking about it last night, I thought, oh, maybe I'll just put a little bit of colour in it, just so that it's not just, you know, just clear. I thought that would look, I think it'd look nicer with a little bit of colour. Just pushing some of this darker towards the edge there. I mean, I have still got some in the other cup. If I want to add a little bit more of the dark, I, I certainly can. But um, yeah, I just wanted a really, really sort of pale kind of look to it. Nothing too dark. Otherwise you, you lose the effect of all your shells and things. I added a little bit of coral as well. I found some coral in one of my little bags. And added a bit of coral. Okay, so that's that one. I haven't really got much left of that one. I'll just blend these two together, I think. Scrape it out. Not much left of that one. Oh, I just touched the side. I just touched the bar. I'll have to clean that off. How's it looking? <laughs> the little the little shells. They've um they've got some of the darker in them. They've grabbed it. I'll have to I'll have to clean that out. Just make sure that you haven't touched the side with your your resin stick. All right. Um, now I've got some more clear here. And drizzle a bit of that through just to make sure that everything's filled up. And that's pretty much it, really. I might use this, what's left on that stick there, just to cover this. And blend those two there. I don't want to see a stripe. through there <laughs> oh that's looking really pretty I like that blending 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 you get the general idea I don't think it needs to, I don't like it when there's like a straight line you know between the two colors I like it to be a little bit more kind of natural looking without that stripe through so we'll just do a little bit more blending, blending. Um, and I need a little bit more just here. And then I think we're done. A little bit more just there. Got a couple of shells that are kind of poking up through the surface there. I might have to put a little bit more on. Look, I don't think it really matters if you've got something, a little tiny bit that's poking through the top. Like, I don't think anyone's going to even notice once your paper towel's sitting on top, is it? I think it'll be just fine. All right, so there we go. How's that looking for a blending? I think lighter colours do work best for your blendings. Not too dark. All right, I'll leave it there. I've been yappering on long enough. And you can see that I haven't got a straight line between the clear and the light. I've kind of made it a bit more of a, a zigzag line there. Again, just so that it's not dead straight. All right, uh, give that a slight little torch. Popping some bubbles. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the unmolding. It won't take long, just a few hours. Righto, it's done. Now, you know how I said there was a couple of little shells still poking through? I added a little bit more of the dark just up the top there because I needed to fill it up a little bit more and I just kind of blended it. So we've got like three uh, graduations of colour there. And I love it. I'm in love with it. So 
Like, there's no big reveal. I don't get to turn it over and go, ta-da, there's no big reveal. This is it. But, um, yeah, we'll get it out. It's probably been about... Oh, uh, what's the time now? It's 2.30 p.m. and I did it... I don't know. I don't know what time I did it. This morning sometime. 9.30? I, I don't know. <laughs> ta-da! <laughs> I still get to do a ta-da. All right. Um... I will link my, this is my small round tray mould down in the description if anybody wants that one. Uh, because, yeah, I think that fits really nicely with the, um, the, um, whatever it's called. I don't know. The stand. The paper towel holder thing. Um, I just got this on, um, on eBay. So maybe just search, um. Pepper towel holder. If I think of it, I'll link the one I got so that you'll be able to still, you know, see which one it is. All right, can we go in for a bit of a close-up here? I can't really see. <laughs> I'm not on my step. I thought, I don't need my step today because I'm not doing a big reveal. <gasps> but um, I'm just going to be careful this doesn't hit my camera like that, you see. No, I did that on purpose just to show you. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Here we go. It's so pretty. That stand around the back so I don't hit the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll take it. How about I take it outside or something so that you can see it properly? All right. Now, the big test <laughs> the paper towel holder test. Here we go. Ta da! <laughs> How cool is that? Yes, it's very cool. It fits. It fits. It's so cool. All right. Let's go outside. It's a lovely day outside. Although, I think there's someone mowing. There's, there's a bit of a noise going on out there. I had to uh, put some music on. It was so loud out there. It was a chainsaw. So here we go. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Love, love, love this. It is so pretty and it's useful. So that's a good thing. Hey, I think that'd be quite good in markets if people make resin things for markets. I think it would work really well. Anyone with a beachy home is going to want one of these for their kitchen, for sure, for sure. And it is a little seashore, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Grab yourself some paper towel holders. Oh, everyone always wants to see the bottom. There you go. There's the bottom. Nothing particularly exciting. Hey, Charlie boy. <laughs> so there you go. All right. Thanks again for watching and uh, I'll see you all again for the next video real soon. Okay, take care guys. Bye for now.